Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are hooking up a couple of downspouts here in a really cool little courtyard. They've got a trip trap bridge that leads up to the house. But this downspout and the one on the corner, all that water has been going down into their crawl space. So we've got to go ahead and trench through here. We see we've already started. Really good sized roots right here. Um, going to try the chainsaw here, the ax. See if we can't get through there. Hook up this downspout right here, and it's going to come out. We're going to cut the driveway over to here. Comes across, and where Paul's working hard, we've got to get a line that goes all the way through here, and you can see all the roots. Really tough area. You can see some of the size of the roots here just giant roots. You can see my hand against this thing. But um, I think we'll get it. So we're getting ready to install our channel drain and you notice that we have it kind of centered in the driveway. Um, you could run it all the way across but for aesthetics you can also leave it in the center and slope everything towards your channel drain. Notice over here where we've got the 45 coming into it. Um, that's going to be solid pipe that comes from the downspouts. That's actually going to run right through our channel drain and it runs all the way out. We'll turn the corner down here and discharge behind that holly tree. It drops off five, six feet right away, right back there. So this should work really good. Notice that there's a fitting that slides onto the end of your channel drain and it sits down much deeper. You can see there's a little lip down here at the bottom. And our four inch pipe is gonna connect right to here. We're using two pieces of channel drain and there's a coupling that goes into the center and it just slides together, make that good and tight. This same fitting is actually going to be at the other end where the discharge is, right over here. So a few fittings that have to go on here. This, this is just a coupling, a four inch coupling that slides onto the, to the channel drain. Next, we're using an adapter that goes from corrugated to PVC. That slides inside. Then we put our corrugated into the adapter and it snaps in place. So you can see our four inches underneath the concrete there a little bit, which is fine. And then we'll go ahead and set the channel drain, continue it on down. Now we're putting the adapter on the discharge side. It just slides in and just tap it in place. Make sure it's down there really good and secure inside there. You can see that, you see my hand, we're definitely going to be below. We're actually going to raise it up so that it's just right ever so slightly below the grade of the concrete. So we've got everything hooked up. You can see we've got our channel drain. We'll square that up in the center of the trench. Comes down. We switch to PVC out here. We're going to add a little drain right over here just because there's a low spot of the concrete. We'll make sure that gets picked up. And we'll finish it on out. It just goes out and over the hill. So we're just backfilling the area. We're gonna get ready to set up the concrete here. We're gonna wash this whole area down. We added a small uh, drain here. We'll put a, a grate on the top of that just to help pick up. There's a really low spot in the concrete right here, but we'll pick that up with that little drain. So next we go ahead and cover up the channel drain with some painter's tape, blue tape, just so that the concrete doesn't drop down into the grate. 
we're ready to go ahead and start mixing concrete. So we just pulled the tape off, we'll put the blower on there, but you can see how the channel drain came out really nice. So this is a project the homeowner could do themselves. You know, it took a lot of work to get through here. You can see our channel drain installed, concrete put back. The real hard part really was here in these roots, a lot of roots. This is a river birch right here, and it puts out a root system real similar to a willow tree if you're from up north. That's why they outlawed the willows in many cities because the roots wrap around pipes, water lines, things like that. But definitely a project the homeowner could do themselves, save a lot of money. So a really cool trip trap bridge, I call it, a walkway. You can see it comes right up to their front door. I really like this. Outstanding job. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.